Hello, hello. Welcome back to a new episode of Nicholas Place. Oxygen not included. Brooklyn Nine Nine edition. And in the last episode, right, we have built so much stuff. We have built a giant water tank, even though it's only half full. But what's more wonderful was that we have built one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven ranches in total, and one of them is dedicated to dracos. All the other ones, they are for hatches. Yeah, that's freaking awesome. We have also updated our bathroom setup. So nowadays, we don't have polluted dirt. We don't need any manual work to clean up our bathrooms anymore. Ooh, and we have built this automated notification system that whenever there's an egg in the hatch stable, right, we will get a notification. And with our mod sweep by type, we can just uh, sweep it up really easy. Very nice. And I think we have done quite a lot of research in the last episode as well. We have done the advanced automation technology, the internal combustion technology, even though we wouldn't use that yet, but that unlocks the advanced power regulation technology. Ooh, and in the last episode, we also have got our local war achievement already, and we are just pushing forward on Canivore. I think we're doing it really well because not only we have six ranches full of hatches, we have a ton of eggs being incubated right here. And also, if we look into this room, right, we have about 30 eggs. 30. Wow. And now 31. Nice. That's just awesome. Let's take a look at this um, printing port activation really quick. I do. I do want to hire someone. Uh, because right now we have eight dupes and uh, we need a few more to be able to consume all the calories. Joshua seems quite good, even though, hmm, Joshua or Ellie. I do like suit wearing over operating, but Joshua does come with super duper hard digging. Hmm, I'm gonna take suit wearing. Operating can always be trained. Yeah. Ellie, you are gonna become Scully. Once we have Scully, we have the whole team, like all the main cast from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Mmm. Scully, do you have a bed? Yes, good. Let me set up your priorities and skills. Oh, by the way, in the last episode, we hired quite a few more Brooklyn Nine-Nine core team members as well. And I think we hired Rosa, Gina, Charles Boyle, and Hitchcock. Of course, he should be named Hitchcock. Nice. Right, let's do a recap. Captain Raymond and Jake, they are our builders, and also they run on the well. And... Gina Lanetti, she also primarily runs on the well. Amy Santiago is our main, main rancher. Terry is our main scientist and also main cook. We also have Charles Boyle, of course, right? Who else would be cooking our food other than our lovely Charles Boyle? We hired Hitchcock in the last part of our episode, too. And Hitchcock, he mainly helps out Jake and the captain with building and digging. Scully, hmm, what should I find you to do? That's the question I'm thinking. But before we do that, we can always add him to the same shift as uh, Hitchcock because they're best friends, right? Since the last episode, we have built this better bathroom, right? I think I can combine a few different shifts together. So we can utilize more and they can be friends to more people. Yeah, let me do that. I have moved to Captain Raymond Holt. His name is just too long. And also Terry onto this morning person schedule. Morning person. With a morning person, right? If you let them work during the morning time, they get plus two bonuses to all the attributes. That is just awesome. 
Looking at our base and how things are getting down, I think we have enough people running on the wells, and also I think we have enough, just enough, like rancher. I, if I can get one more rancher, that would be great. But beggars cannot be choosers, right? So Scully, you should be joining Hitchcock and also Captain and Jake to work on building projects. If you need to run on the well, yes, please. I have also given Scully one point in advanced research. Nice. Now, since we have got all the technologies we need to build our oxygen module and also hydrogen generators, let's just do that, right? I think I want them to clear this place up and we can start building. Hey, ladders, you go up, you go down. What? We don't have electrolyzers. I thought we finished all the research. Oh no. Okay, let's start that one. Let's start that one real quick. I think the benefit of having your own YouTube video of yourself playing this game is that you can just check your design really easily. I see. Hmm. Let me change that up. I don't have smart batteries. Come on, Nicholas, do a better job. I think this is what I want to build. And I also have planned the priorities for them. I want these buildings to be built sort of last because I don't need every one of them to be built just now. And I have discovered that. So if you set all the digging and all the building to priority seven, but you specifically change just the building to priority one. Guess what? It also sets all the digging to priority one. What you can do to fix that is to issue another priority seven digging command. So right now, all the digging happens, but the building wouldn't happen first. Yeah, that's um, not ideal, Clay. Why? Nice, now we have our electrolyzers, we can try to build them. I love how every time, right, when they produce an egg, it seems like a mini explosion, boom, and then the egg is there. <laughs> oh wow, I didn't even notice, I think this just happened. Look how many eggs we already have, wow. And I hope someone can store this up so we can feed these fish. Because if they are wild, they produce an egg about every 10 or 15 cycles. But if you feed them and then there's enough water, right? There's enough room for them to live. They will produce an egg every two and a half cycles. Wow. I think this would accelerate our meat consumption really quickly. What is she carrying? She's carrying a gulp fry egg. I didn't realize the gulp fry egg is so big. That's just insane. I swear that I didn't do anything and the game gave me a choice. Do I want really good duplicates or do I want pakus? I think I want pakus and also I have a perfect place for them to go right there. Right now, we have about eight pakus and we have about 16 times eight tiles of water. Each of them requires eight tiles of water. That means I can still have eight more pakus in this uh, pool. And because these are individual rooms, they don't really come into the pakus number in the bigger pool. Plus, we have another water pocket we could move down here as well with gravity. Hmm, I'm really tempted to get a fish. All right, let's do this together. First, we want to disconstruct these two tiles. And as soon as we have someone coming here trying to destruct them, let's print the fish and make sure they have the space to go downwards. Uh, hello. Do you guys want to maybe move around? What's happening? Oh, there you go. Huh. Okie dokie. Now we just need to fix this up. Awesome. I think the game is just slow. Yes, good. 
Huh. I had the wrong understanding of the automatic signal for automatic dispenser. So when it is red, right, it stores materials, but when it's green, it dumps all the stored materials. It's not enable and disable. Uh-oh. Hmm. I was trying to be smart, and then I was thinking, huh, right now I have auto sweeper research, right? I can build them and then use them to automate my egg moving because I'm building the same thing, like the automated notifier again in this um, seating chamber. But two problems. One, we don't have mechatronics engineering yet. That skill is particularly hard to come by. We need someone to have both improved carrying and electrical engineering. Rosa Diaz. Ooh, she can actually learn that. Yes, please. Cool. But the second problem is that all this requires power. And we don't have that much power to go on. If you look at the batteries, right? We have never ever filled them full, not even once. Yeah, I guess we're still relying on manual power for a while. By manual power, I mean myself. Oh well. I think if you have watched until this point, you have found out my love for automation. I know this looks like a lot, but let me explain, all right? Let's look at just this part. So, we have two timer sensors, and this is an OR gate. OR gate means when either of the signal is turned on, the output is on. And all this are basically chained OR gates. So what they do when they are combined is, if any of these timer sensors is turned on, this OR gate would output a ON signal, and this is the NOT gate, which would turn off all the grooming stations above. Let's see it in action. Okay, Amy is going in here, and this one requires a lullaby. Let's reset the timer and slow the time down. Okie dokie, and if we check the automation layer, because this is on, 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 all the way and all the grooming stations are being turned off. So they cannot be used, and Amy would prioritize the lullaby task. Yeah, very nice. I think the timing is about right. We can set this to be a little bit longer because this would be the first one. Okay, and Amy might have to run from other places. That one is almost done. Let's reset this and see the magic happen. Nice. Next one up. Next one up. Wait. Did she leave? Where is she going? Oh no. See? This is why we need that control. Hmm. Hmm. I probably want another part which disables the shearing as well. Please prioritize. Thank you very much. I'm not sure why, but they prioritize the wrenching way over. Even if this is set to 9. And that is set to 8 or 7 or something like that. Oh, because this one is lullaby. That makes sense. This one is also lullaby. I see. My bad. Sorry. But I still want her to be here and then to sing to all the eggs so I can synchronize all the clocks. One sec. Oh yeah, we're getting tons of eggs. Almost every cycle. Wow, okay. That's a lot of eggs. Let's get back here and get this done. Mm hmm I think that's about time to reset for this one. No. Wait. Amy, come back. This is more important, okay? Yes. Nice. She's also getting the husbandry skill. Very good. Awesome. Now, all these eggs, they're a lot of bite. Whew. That was a lot of work. 
but it was worth it. Worth it. I want to know whenever there is a critter. Because whenever there's a critter, I want to <clears throat> evolve them into their final form. Well, help them to evolve into their final form faster. Hmm, where should I start with this? Anyway, it has been 20 cycles since the last recording, and our Sporm is lovely built. Even though right now it's just the first electrolyzer is being plugged in, the first two pumps are being plugged in, and the first two generators are being plugged in. For the last 20 cycles, mostly what I'm doing is just micromanaging all the um, hatches, right? One thing is the stables, making sure the eggs are getting cleared as soon as possible. Another thing is whenever there is an egg that needs to be incubated, I'm resetting the timer and trying to get someone... Yes, yes, trying to get someone to lot up by the eggs. Just making sure that we're on track for the carnival achievement. Speaking of which, let's have a look. Carnival achievement. So right now, we're missing about 53,000 calories and we have 7 days left. Which means that we are sort of well on track. Apart from generating enough meat, enough calories from meat, right? Another thing I have been doing or I have done was that I hired 3 new duplicates so that we can eat all the calories. Because we are running on 12 duplicates and we only have 6.7 tons of algae, this is why oxygen generation was a high priority for the last 15-20 cycles. Yeah, that's mostly it. Um, we built that. Oh, we also built the gym and also the power interfaces as well. Other than that, we expanded the incubator range and um, for the last 20 cycles, I have been mainly just micromanaging all the dupes. And as you can see, we get X quite often, even though we're playing on the slow speed. Yeah. So whenever we have a new hatch that's being incubated, I want them to be immediately evolved into their final form. But also, I don't want their hatch friend to eat the meat. I would tie it up whatever hatch I have right here and making sure that this one is converted into meat as soon as possible while also resetting the incubator so we can have someone to come here to lullaby the egg. Come on. Okay, just in time. Awesome. I forgot to say, the reason why we jumped 20 cycles was because I got COVID last week. I was bored, I was playing the game, but um, I wasn't really in a good place to do any kind of voice recording, so I did not. And that's why. Okie dokie, I think we're getting really close. Now it's just a thousand calories. Come on. I want to witness. I want to witness this moment. Oh yes, eat the barbecues. Eat the barbecues. And give me the achievement. Come on. <gasps> we got it. Hell yeah. We got carnivore. Nice. Oh, this is so satisfying. Mmm. So good. Oh, how do we celebrate this? Leave me some comments if you have some ideas. Looking at our base, right? I was just gonna say that one thing I really want to solve right now is the manual micromanagement of all the eggs dropping and then all the eggs moving. Plus, whenever we have a new hatch that's hatched inside our incubators, right? We want them to be evolved into meat more automatically as well. So I think in the next episode, right, we will be working on some automation for our hatches and their evolution process. Another thing is, since we have got this um, oxygen generator, one thing we will be having in the near future is the temperature issue. So I think what we should do is to invest in some kind of temperature management solution which is some kind of steam turbine and also we want thermal aqua tuner, which we already have researched. Hmm, other than that, 
I think I would also like to tidy up my base quite a lot. There's a lot of junk lying everywhere. And I want to move this um, kitchen into the central column as well. Oh my god. It's just non-stop they're producing the eggs. I would like to improve their athletics to above, say, 10. So I think I will have them run on the well for quite a bit. As long as we have stable food and also stable oxygen, as long as our base doesn't get too hot, then that'll be fine. I think that's the goals for the next few episodes. Temperature management, automation, cleanup. Yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this episode so far and I hope I will see you in the next one. If you have any ideas, leave me some comments, please. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next one. Bye.